How you doing? I love your pants. <sighs> I like your pants. Everybody want to take a minute to like your pants? I like your pants. Yes. Yes. That's pants. I wanted to be, you know, impish, nah, elfish cabaret Rasputin tonight. It's funny to anyone who reads The Observer. How are we doing? That's quite the crowd for a, for a holiday show. Here's the thing, it's starting to look a little bit like the holiday season. I don't know about you, but outside the weather is actually, I mean, for Dallas, that's getting positively wintry. That's getting close. I mean, we're down to the mere, what, 50s, 40s? It's, it's winter-esque. I mean, I've got plenty of time to do any holiday shopping I've missed being Christmas Eve. And I'm here, so, you know, sorry about that. You're not getting anything. I'm kidding. Just you wait. But I'll tell you this. It's Christmas Eve, and I'm surrounded by family. That's insane. You guys came out. You gotta understand, for me, I have been an orphan most of my life. I don't mean that in the crime alley after the opera Batman sort of way. It would be ridiculous to think of me as a superhero. That said, <clears throat> that said, I have often been dragged to other people's holidays. Sometimes they are my family, sometimes they're my chosen family, but I'm dragged to obligations. And I found myself year after year going, well, I'll get to the party, I'll find the weird uncle or the crazy aunt, and I'll have someone to talk to. Folks, this is a warning sign that you're in the wrong place. If you go to a party hoping you'll find the crazy one, <laughs> odds are you're at the wrong party. Second point about that, if you go and you can't find the crazy uncle, odds are that's you. And party after party, it never felt quite right. And then my friends came along and helped me build this place, this mad mental place where I, by the standards of the open stage, am positively normal. Even in those pants. Even in these pants. <laughs> but the idea that there's a place where or I can be, and I can be me. That's awesome. And I know there are a lot of people, and we're going to talk a little bit to the internet for a second, but there's, there's a lot of people who didn't make it here tonight. We're not mad at them. You know, this, we're a little mad, but not a lot mad. It's, it's a funny thing because they're out being, I mean, there's a dearth of crazy uncles and, and crazy and wacky aunts out in the world, and they're out doing that job. Somebody has to keep those quotas high, and we train them here, and then they go off. So don't think of them as not with us. Think of them as doing our missionary work. Yeah. And that's what I wanted you guys to know. The other thing to think about, and you will see a lot of our performers do this on, on the wings. Guys who've been here since the beginning, some of our, our performing troupe, the Circus Freaks, you'll see this symbol a lot. You'll see this all the time. You know what this is? I'll tell you a secret. It's a pair of spoons. And sometimes when life makes you have to eat garbage stew, these things help. And sometimes when you have to dig yourself out of crap, these things help. And sometimes when you can't dig yourself out, these things help. It seems to me that that's about what we make here. We're like a, we're like a freight train that crashed into a spoon factory. <laughs> which is a fantastic analogy for something I've created. I, I'd like that to go down in history, I think. Yes. Welcome to the train wreck that makes spoons. Good job, TJ. Yeah. That said, I'm glad to be here making spoons. And I know from here we go off into next year. I mean, we're not going to be here on New Year's Eve. We're taking a week off. The first one we've taken in over a year. Our crew's been working every single week, which, guys, thank you for that. We'll be back. We'll be back on January 7th, starting up the Crazy Circus, doing more stuff. We've got big stuff going on in the world. But for tonight, the folks who couldn't make it tonight, we miss you. We miss the band. We miss a lot of the regulars. We miss a bunch of our performers who wanted to be here and just couldn't. But we're going to keep the light on for you. And for the rest of you who are here, welcome home to the Orphan Stage. <laughs> 